Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on the classification of phylum mollusca. Here we are going to deal with class Gastropoda. In the previous presentations, we saw in detail the classes uh, Placophora, Polyplacophora, and Monoplacophora. And here we are with the class Gastropoda. The Gastropoda, the word comes from two terms keywords that is gastro which means stomach or gut and podos means food so they are stomach footed uh, mollusks they include snails slugs limpets etc and the, the gastropods are among the uh, largest uh, group of mollusks right uh, it is the largest as well as the most varied class among the uh, phylum mollusca they include you can see marine freshwater and terrestrial forms so the members of gastropoda they occupy a very wide variety of habitats ranging from marine freshwater and terrestrial uh, uh, very important feature about the gastropods are that it is a group of torted uh, mollusks or mollusks with torted body torted here refers to torsion okay the torsion it is actually the you can see here Initially, uh, in mollusks, the mouth is at the anterior and posteriorly the anal opening into the mantle cavity. But in gastropods, what happens is the body, the main body undergoes torsion. Okay, so torsion means that is a 180 degree counterclockwise twisting of the visceral mass, mantle and the mantle cavity. Okay, so the whole visceral mass, mantle and mantle cavity, it undergoes a 180 degree counterclockwise twisting. And this results in uh, positioning the gills, the anus, as well as the openings from excretory and reproductive system just behind the head and the nerve cord. Okay, so it also uh, uh, twists the digestive tract, the alimentary tract in a U shape. So here you can see the alimentary canal. Okay, so in the uh, before the torsion actually, or in the um, I mean uh, normal mollusks, the mouth is at the anterior position and anal uh, opening at the posteriorly uh, at the posterior position and opens into the mantle cavity. And during torsion, what happens is the complete visceral mass. Okay, complete visceral mass, the mantle and the mantle cavity it is completely twisted 180 degrees so what was positioned over here it gets twisted and it is brought towards the anterior end and it gets placed very close to the head region and the uh, what you call the uh, uh, nervous uh, uh, system okay uh, the uh, very close to the uh, head region it gets positioned okay uh, head as well as the nerve cord so here you can see what happened to the uh, to the alimentary canal earlier it was uh, straight and uh, here what happened is it beca became almost u-shaped okay this distortion or this twisting of the complete visceral mass mantle mantle cavity along with the digestive tract it is known as a torsion torsion it is not visible externally you can, it, it, it is happening what is happening inside is uh, the twisting what is happening inside is what is referred as the torsion okay now uh, shell also is coiled in the case of gastropods you may have seen very plenty of uh, uh, this one so here you can see that uh, shell also could be coiled here you can see a coiling okay here also you can see a coil this is twisting of the shell which is visible externally right but torsion it is not visible externally fine but it is very important aspect in the case of gastropods gastropods do have uh, do exhibit torsion uh, that is a complete visceral mass may be complete i mean uh, this uh, twisted uh, 180 degree and this 180 degree in which direction it is like whether it is uh, uh, what you call um, uh, towards the right side or whether it is the uh, the uh, th that is also important okay coming back here uh, muscular food okay in the case of uh, uh, the uh, gastropods nearly all the gastropods have a flattened food uh, that is uh, often uh, ciliated, uh, covered with gland cells, and used to creep across the substrate. Okay, so this muscular food is present below the digestive system and the visceral mass. Since it is uh, closely associated with the digestive system, that is why the name has come gastropoda. Okay, now the um, the food uh, in uh, smaller gastropods, it is. Uh, I mean, it is. It uses. They use cilia to propel themselves over a mucus trail. That's mucus is secreted by the gland cells. 
larger gastropods they use waves of the muscular contraction that move over the food okay so larger gastropods they use the food this muscular food for uh, like uh, propelling themselves over the the trail okay the what you call the mucus tray the food of some gastropods for example as in the case of limpets or abalones you can see here uh, this is a uh, limpet okay and this one is abalone here these uh, limpets and abalones you can see here that uh, the food uh, it is modified for clinging okay clinging on to the some substratum uh, in some other cases for example sea hares okay haliotis and aplesia yeah you have uh, aplesia here right uh, these uh, uh, aplesia uh, they use it for swimming the food is used for swimming okay so they are known as sea hairs so here you can see there's uh, uh, the food it is modified according to the habitat in many cases mantle cavity it occupies forwardly uh, uh, facing position because of the torsion the shell it is univalved that is only a single shell it is there and it is asymmetrically spiral that is what we refer to shell coiling is seen okay it is spiral and this spiraling shell coiling it could be towards the right side or it could be towards the left side the one which is towards the right side it is known as the dextral coiling the one with towards the left side it is known as the the uh, what you call sinistral coil okay so um, in it could be the same species can have both the uh, dextral as well as sinistral but one could be predominant right one kind of coiling would be could be predominant now the head it is distinct with one or two it is not half it is actually one or two one or two pairs of sensory tentacles and a pair of eyes the mantle cavity it, uh, it is uh, provided with a pair of bipectinate tenaria or the gills and an ostradium it is a chem chemosensory structure so all these are present in the mantle cavity okay so these are few examples very major ones we can see here it